security is the foundation of a country's development, distinguished chairman, the logic holds true that its absence will undermine, if not stall, progress. Apart from the actual destructive impact of the violence unleashed, our country will continue to lose long-term capital in light of our quarterly cycle of chaos and instability. This cannot be allowed to continue and needs urgent remediation. To that, I turn my attention. The question may be put, are we likely to witness violence in the upcoming election in December? And my answer, regrettably, is yes. The near absence of good faith on the part of the two big competing parties makes this prospect highly probable. The ongoing accusations between the two parties and the refusal of the NDC to execute peace deals are ample testaments of what awaits us in the upcoming elections. Government's bold interventions following the incidents of the violence at Ayawaso is exemplary, but much more needs to be done in the area of anticipatory steps to deal with the issue of electoral violence in, the, in Ghana relative to the 2020 elections.